Well, I already closed the game, so it's not happening. If you truly believe that I was playing on easy, then, I mean, sure. Um, no, I have no qualms with the difficulty of the SP management. Um, I think those were none. Of, I didn't particularly think the game was that hard on normal. I really didn't. I, I, something, the qualm I had was on normal. It didn't teach you really that much how to play that and like combat. Like you guys kept saying, like I never got punished. So I was able to just like fuck along like the whole time. And then it got hard at like the end. Like it, that's when it got hard. It was like the end of the game. And it's like, oh, well, you know, I'm able to just pick up, like I'm able to just pick these skills that just do a lot of damage because shit just melts. So, you know, may as well just take more damage. That's more of my fault. Not really the game's fault. So per se, but like it, it doesn't like really like the game didn't really, it didn't really seem like it was trying to teach me anything in the first dungeons. Yeah, I guess you could say like Dark Souls style, yeah. Um, what else? Oh, I also, I feel like the last half of the game dragged a little bit, like story-wise. Am I the only one who, who holds that opinion? Like story-wise, I felt like the first half was stronger than the second half. On normal, expects you to learn from, oh, that hurt a lot, rather than, oh, the game. Yeah, yeah, for sure, Asaku. Yeah, that that pretty much sums it up. Yeah. But me, I was just like, oh, that hurt. Oh, here, here, just heal it. Like, you know, just fucking kill it. You know, move on. Um, But no, I, f I feel like the, the first half was stronger than the second half. Not by a lot, but the second half just felt like it dragged a little bit. Now, it's just like, hmm, you know, like, it seems like they're really like trying to just just uh they're trying to really stretch it out so in certain ways um like and, and that by that i mean and this may have been different if i had more knowledge or if i played the game better but like there was just so much so much so many obstacles in like the like the mementos like all those enemies like there's so many enemies in that one area like so many it's like you had to fight so many things and it felt like it was dragging like it was like okay stop the story here fight these enemies like in this one area for a while the puzzles were cool like i'm talking about mementos the puzzles were cool but like there's so many enemies i was like i just want to know what's happening <laughs> i just want to know what's happening I think it's more that they cut things out near the end and scrunched it. Yeah, I know. I think Zach told me that Hufumi was cut because they thought the game was too long. That's that's probably, yeah. Like, I, I can't imagine having a whole other storyline to, to follow on top of everything else. Like, I know I have Sad Brain, but, like, that game is long. Like, no matter who you ask. Right? That game is long. I think Haru could have got introduced a little earlier. Like, there was a big time period between, like, who was before Haru? Futaba? Right? Futaba, and then, like, a huge time period between Futaba and Haru. I feel like they could have nudged that back a little bit, but I guess that would have shifted some of the storyline. Yeah, Hufumi's a fucking babe, dude. No no doubt. That's why, like, I thought she was interesting. I genuinely did. I thought she was an interesting character. And, like, the kind of, like, fucking shogi, like, like, I can't imagine, like, what kind of fighting, like, what her persona would have been, like, what kind of moves she would have and shit. And she's, like, a shogi master and all that. Like, that's cool. Like, that's a, that's an interesting perspective to have on a persona. Or on, like, a persona character. Do you want to know what Hufumi's story is? What, like, if you get it to, like, level 10? Sure, go ahead. Um, one second. I just got to text my girlfriend goodnight real quick.
Um, what was I gonna say? So honestly, those are like really my my only criticisms of the game is that I feel like it was a little long. Like it, and that criticism might be because I'm bad at the game and it just kind of happened to stretch things out. But if I look at it from just a story perspective, where it's like there's a lot of flow, it's like you take down Sh like the the whole like lineup, like you deal with the catchy, you're dealing with Shido, you're dealing with Shido, and then like you just like halt. And like everything comes to a halt and then like okay now things are getting going and then like once you get past like that like halt it, that's when it picks up the pace again and then that's when it gets really good again but i just felt like it dragged a little bit there um she's not really a shogi master her mother is fixing her matches for her to turn into an idol to satisfy her own lust for fame she ends up Starting over trying to learn her way up to her own merit. But she has to deal with the fallout of finding out she's not really that good. Oh, wow. That's actually like really fucking interesting. That is honestly like a really interesting storyline. I'm kind of sad I didn't get that to 10. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying, Empty. Like, I, I recognize that like the end game, I, I died a lot at the end game because of that. But I also feel like I'm talking like story pacing, like the, the the pacing. If you look at the pacing of the story, it kind of just like stopped. In my opinion, the the the, the kind of coaster just came to a halt, and then you had to just go. You just had to just go through like a, a slog a slog of enemies. But that, in my opinion, might be skewed here. So take that with a grain of salt. I found the Akumara are kind of weak. Let me look up a list of palaces. Hold on. Palace, list, persona, five. Palaces. Um, so we're, by these palaces, I mean, I'm going to talk about like the arcs, not necessarily the palaces. Um, I think the Kamashita arc was really good. Like, the game sucked me in for sure. Like, I am not a long game person. I genuinely am not a long game person. And I guess I'll put this out as a warning right now. Clip it if you need it. If the, if Final Fantasy X doesn't keep my attention in the first, like, 20 hours, I'm flushing it. Because it's, it's just, I need my attention to be caught. I'm a baby, alright? My attention needs to be caught really early or I just don't fucking care. So, we'll see what happens. The Kamashita arc was really good. I, 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 it really caught my attention. Um, Madarami was next, right? Yeah, Madarami's arc I think was good. It wasn't as good as Kamashita's. I thought it was pretty good though. Like the 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 whole like, I think his palace was like the nicest looking. Like I really liked the way it looked. Although Futaba's is kind of up there. The Kamashita Palace was a good intro palace, but it wasn't really anything spectacular. Monorami's Palace, I really liked the way it looked, and it was just, like, cool to be there. And, like, Yusuke is a cool character, in my opinion. Um, Kaneshiro... Forgettable? I don't know. Am I the one who felt like Kaneshiro's Palace was a little forgettable? I wasn't, like... You know, I didn't really... I wasn't like blown away by it. I just was like, yeah, we're here. <laughs> um, anyways, it was good watching. See you later, Jim. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Yeah, the music was good. The music was good. Um, but the I don't know. It was just a forgettable palace. More, it's kind of telling when Kaneshiro's palace is more forgettable than Kamashita's. Like, I genuinely have a hard time recollecting what happened in in Kaneshiro's palace. The storyline was kind of cool, like, you know, just investigating, like, the, like, the gangs and all that shit. Um, yeah, yeah, it was the, it was, like, the bank heist one, yeah. But I think Kon uh, Kamashita's is more impactful because it's the first one, so, you know, maybe that, that might explain it. Um, Futaba's Palace, I'm, I think Futaba's Palace is the best one. I, I still hold that belief. I think Futaba's Palace is the best palace. Just, like fun like i think it was like the perfect length like 
Yeah, well, yeah, Kamoshido is also, like, a giant piece of shit, right? And he's, like, one of the, like, roots of the problem. Futaba's Palace had really good music. Visually, it was, like, one of my favorites. Futaba's story is, like, really compelling. Like, really, really compelling. Like, cool story to, like, figure out, like, the whole Mejet arc, I think, is really cool. Just, I think it's, that is when the game, like, story-wise was, like, peak. Like, if you guys remember, those streams were long as fuck because I just wanted to keep going. And I still did some long streams later on, too. But, like, that was when I was able to, like, play Persona for, like, seven hours and, like, not be tired. And I still wanted to play. Um, But it was, like, Futaba's Palace is really fucking good. Like, that was, like, peak. That was, like, 10 out of 10 experience. Like, the whole arc, I loved it. Um, Okumura's Palace was not bad. It was good, I guess. The arc itself was... I think the arc itself was kind of interesting. I don't think it was boring. Um, I know... I think Isaku said you didn't like it that much. It didn't capture you. But I have a little chub for Haru. So maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe that has something to do with it. Um, I, I liked it. I didn't... I, I liked it, but I wasn't like... I didn't love it, you know? Like... I can say that I loved Futaba's Palace. I can say that I really liked Madarami and Kamashita's Palace. I think the 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 Haru storyline and, and like that is what like motivated me to like fucking plow through Akumura's Palace, if that, if that makes sense. Um Nijima's Palace I'm, am I kind of blanking on? Am I blanking on Nijima's Palace? Casino, casino, casino. Um, it wasn't bad. I think it's. I think it's in the same place as Akumra's. I think it's in the same place of Akumra's where, um, it was. It was like it wasn't bad. It wasn't amazing. It was just like yeah, this is a good palace. I like the casino theme. I don't really remember the music that much, so I don't think the music was very memorable. Um. The enemy variety was pretty cool there. That's something I can say is like as you played the game more, the enemies looked stronger. Like they looked more badass and like holy shit, what is this? And like what the fuck is going on? Like oh my god. Like holy fuck. Like it was like the enemy design was so good. So, so, so good. Um, so yeah, Nijima's Palace is like it was cool. Cool, uh, cool setting. The Nijima arc is is really like on the edge of your seat like holy crap like this is like what's gonna happen so that kind of carried it as well that's what really motivated me to get through it um shido's palace i th i think shido's palace is in like bottom two like the music was good in shido's palace but like fuck dude those I know I have soap brain. All right, just hear me out. Too many fucking rat puzzles. Holy shit. Too many rat puzzles. Holy crap. Like, oh my God. It was so frustrating after a while. It was like, all right, next area, more rat puzzles. God damn it. Like, I know it's supposed to be like the giant lead up to like the big boss and they really want to make you work for it. But rat puzzles were annoying. They weren't fun. They were annoying. Like, I'm sorry. I just didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy the rat puzzles. I thought the enemies were cool. The music was good. Um, but, like, like I thought the, the, the idea of, like, finding the five different... Um, finding Like, what I loved about it and why it's not at the bottom, but why it's above the bottom. Like, one... Like, at the very bottom is, is Kanashiro's, but above that is, is Shiro's. Um... Is the, is the stories with all the people like that you had to get the, the passes from. I thought that was really well done. Like, that was cool how they were all connected. Each person in the party had their moment. Like, Futaba with the, with the, with the IT guy. Yeah, each, each person got their own confrontation, had, like, their own spotlight. That was cool. Just, it was a slog. I'm sorry. It was just a fucking slog. Oh, my God. Like... The, the the rat puzzles were just too many. There, it was yeah. It was a slog. Um. Then there's like the depths of mementos, which you guys, I mean, 
I, I don't feel like my criticism is valid here because it was my fault. I had such a hard time down there. But I do feel like the story came to a halt. Um, even though there was story in there, I feel like they could have shrank it down. But this opinion means nothing because I died so much. So that's probably why it felt like it was so long. But that's just how I feel. <laughs> that's just how I feel because I died so much. Yeah, and I had to go all the way through normal mementos. You didn't care about... I, I liked Morgana, man. I genuinely cared about Morgana's character. I, I don't... Ever since from the start, I said it. Morgana, like, I liked Morgana's character. I genuinely did. I thought, like... I didn't think he was annoying. The whole, like, go to sleep thing, that's like a meme. Like, sure. But I, I liked Morgana's character. Like, I genuinely liked his character. I thought it was a cool character. Um, I know that's, like, not common in the Persona world, but I feel like people who have played the other Personas don't like Morgana because they didn't like that thing in 4. Because I don't even play... Per I haven't even... I don't know a damn thing about Persona 4 other than, like, that girl. I've seen a lot of Rule 34 about that girl with the green jacket and her titties are always out and stuff. Like, that's the only thing I know about Persona 4. So, like, I know... But I know... The, the other thing I know about Persona 4 is everyone hates Teddy. Everyone hates her. Him. Whatever it is. That's, I know that for a fact because I see it everywhere. So I think people took that hate and they're like, oh, this is the new mascot character that's going to like help you out. Hate him. All right. That might be an edgy opinion. I liked Morgana. I, don't, I didn't really think there was much wrong with him. Um, after, after Mementos, though, like I struggled. But like I'm not retarded, so I know the struggle was my fault. And like I grinded and I changed some stuff up and... I mean, I, my, at least I one-shot the final boss. You guys didn't think I could do it. You, you guys surprised I one-shot the final boss? I'm kind of surprised. I kind of surprised myself. Oh, yeah, the Mara carried me. But, I mean, I, I did what I had to do. To I mean, like, I played the game. It's not like I, like, Googled it, like, Mara, like, or how to beat the boss. Um, It's valid. Like, I, I, I played the game, you know. I didn't cheat. I didn't change the difficulty, like you guys keep saying. Um, the final boss, I, like, I thought it was fine. It was a cool final boss. It wasn't, like, blow my fucking mind. Um, it was just a big dude. <laughs> it was a big dude, and I thought it was cool that he had different weapons based off of the different, uh, like, uh, what's it called? Themes. Cheetah was a better final boss. Mm. I don't I don't think so. For me, I think I like the other one a little bit better. Not that like he's worse in any way. I just like I think visually and like hype wise, I was more hyped for uh the Yalda. I However the fuck you say, I'm just going to call me Alda. Although, maybe I just didn't quite get Shido's. To me, it just was like, okay, dude, how many fucking phases are you going to get? Like, holy shit. And I probably wasn't fighting right. I don't know. I'd... Um... I mean, Shido's fight wasn't bad. I just think I was more excited doing the Yalda boss. Like, the final boss, I actually was, like, nervous. Like, my like my hands were, like, a little shaky. Like, I was I was anxious. But the Shido boss, I wasn't very anxious. I was just like, holy crap. Dude has, like, six fucking forms, like, stronger than Goku. Beast is weak to magic and repels physical. Wings is strong to magic and weak to physical. It takes two actions and it casts magic in its new art. I kind of caught on to some of those different things, but I was able to just kind of face him. Like, just go face. And I ended up killing him. I mean, I was it was a, it was a slog because I was doing it like an idiot, but it happened. I mean, I got through it, so. Um... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the 
the Shido arc itself was cool. I think the Shido arc itself was neat. Um, it was a little superficial, like a little cliche. Like, I'm going to be the president and I'm going to take over the world or, you know, make, I don't know. It wasn't like, I expected some like crazy shit, but it was just like pretty generic. Like, I'm going to make hand grading and build a wall around Japan and Japan's going to be the best now because I'm going to destroy everything else. And Shido uses the beast mechanic, so you have to. I'm saying it now. The hardest fight was the angels. The angel fights were hardest. Especially the angels that had the, the, the girls. The, 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 the titties. The titty girls. Holy shit. Those were the hardest fights. Hell yeah, the angel mini mid-boss was the hardest. That string of, in, of bosses. Fuck it. But you're, because your personas were trash? I guess. Yeah. I mean... It, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm talking about for my playthrough. You're probably right. You guys are probably right. Like, it's that fight, those aren't a big deal. For my playthrough, those were the hardest. <laughs> those were the hardest for me. Um, the final boss wasn't that hard. It was just like... Been, like, don't spend all your resources. That's it. And, like, swap out people. But, like, in the... In the, in the angels, I just didn't have the DPS to, to, to kill the side bitches. But I feel like they had, like, the perfect amount of after story. Um, I was worried that I was going to be sitting here until, like, 11 o'clock and just like watching the game happen because like the game never wants to fucking end because it's JRPG. But no, they actually were like, okay, here's your reward. You finally beat the game. Like, finally beat the game. Um, you could have used your level one AOE spells to one more of them. On hard, he pulled four arms. He revives one every turn. Oh yeah, if he if if that if he pulled out an arm every turn, I would have been fucked no matter what. And getting a tiny epilogue, yeah. I think it was a sweet game. Like the ending was sweet. Um The whole prison thing, I don't know if I liked or not. Oh, you're talking about the the like okay yeah yeah you did with the power oh the way because you were because you were saying how you were mad that I was I was guessing what was gonna happen where I was like they're all gonna cheer for me and I'm gonna get strong and then you were like I hate that you know like I hate that you predicted this <laughs> like you fucking typed it out and I was like wait I'm right and then like that actually happened I was like what? oh okay <laughs> I guess that's how this works but like Isaku you may not like it but it makes sense for the story. Right? It's like the will of the people is changing. So this like it's cheesy, it's cheeky, it's no, it's it's cheese whiz, but it's it makes sense. It's sweet. Um it's super fucking anime, right? It's like it's super fucking anime. Like they just couldn't resist themselves. I'm trying to think of anything else. Hmm. Persona games have a boner for working you up to fighting the god of creation for the final boss. This game lost best soundtrack awards to Nier. I didn't. I don't know Nier's soundtrack, so I, I don't know how to compare it. I mean, I must say Nier has a pretty good soundtrack. <laughs> Um, Nier's another game I need to play on stream. Maybe if I don't like Final Fantasy X, I'll play Nier. Or I can just play Nier after. Huh? Um, 
trying to think if there's anything else I want to say. Don't spoil Persona 4. Um, I want to I play that game sometime in my life. 